Well, no, on, no honestly, I'm gonna fight this love triangle thing so hard. Jenna, oh my God, congratulations, first of all. I am obsessed with this show. My 11-year-old is also obsessed with this show. So first of all, thank you for giving this like grown-ass woman and then her 11-year-old a show that we both can binge, and we literally binged it. It was amazing. Um, I want to... Of course, I want to start off by asking you, you know, you have shared the fact that you felt a little bit of pressure going into this role that we know, Christina Ricci, you know, bringing this iconic role. But as I mentioned, you know, how does it feel knowing that you are bringing this character back to life and sort of now for this whole new generation? Because when my daughter thinks of Wednesday, she's going to think of you. Yeah, that's so strange to me, especially, yeah, because I grew up and the first ones I saw was Christina, but I think that that was nice because it gave me more freedom to kind of stray from what we've already seen of her before. And, you know, we're, we're seeing more Wednesday than we ever have. And I think that there's going to be a lot of, um, I don't know, there's certain character development or aspects of her that, that are new to the audience. And it's, it was nice to kind of introduce them to that subtly, um, subtle, just in a very subtle manner. Sorry, I don't know why. I couldn't yeah. speak for a second. Um, <laughs> All good. Yeah, but it, it it it's weird, but it's it's pretty cool, especially for a character that I've always had so much respect for. It's um, mm -hmm. I'm just glad that this younger generation or newer generations have Wednesday in on their screens now. I yes. think and she's an important character to keep alive. And she's so strong. She's so bold. And I, I couldn't agree with you more. Like, I feel like the just the highlight on her specifically from this entire world of the Adams family was just so necessary for young women to see as well. And it's so funny because we already ordered her Halloween costumes and my daughter was like, oh, dang it. I really want it to be Wednesday now. I'm like, there's always next year, honey. Um, you know, so there also may or may not be sort of the side of Wednesday that we see that she has to make maybe navigate a little bit of like a love triangle. So keeping that essence of Wednesday, you know, how did you approach all these different dynamics that Wednesday is possibly faced with? Um, well, as far as the boys went, I had to accept <laughs> it. I, well, no, on, no, honestly, I'm gonna fight this love triangle thing so hard because it's just me being personal, <laughs> being detective because I don't think Wednesday would ever be in a love triangle. And I talked to the writers about this and I said, don't worry, don't worry, it's not gonna be that, it's not gonna be that. Um, I think I think in terms of relationships, it's kind of just amusing to her. I think it's very clear yeah. in the show that her her primary concern is, is the monster and wanting to get to the bottom mm -hmm. and figure it out because I think it's become like a game and a challenge for herself. And that's what keeps her mm -hmm. interesting and in a school as mind numbing as as Nevermore, uh, so I think I think as far as the the relationship and dynamic goes, it just was really important to me that it seemed out of um strictly out of pleasure or or amusement rather yes. than um, severe interest or or being boy crazy in some sense because honestly I think yeah. I, boys are probably the last thing on Wednesday's mind on Wednesday's mind and you see that in her face too like just the expressions I was just like. You say so much without any words, which has been, which was so intriguing and incredible to watch. Really quickly, um, the last scream obviously honored Wes Craven in a beautiful way. I can't go without asking, what can fans expect from Scream Six? I think they can expect it to be more intense. Honestly, I know, I know that mm. everyone always says that, and that's like the thing to say to promote a scary movie, but <laughs> truly some of the sequences yeah. that, that, that occur and, and even just reading the script, my jaw was actually on the floor. I don't think we've ever, it's funny because Ghostface naturally is, is very clumsy and very, you know, because they're a real person, but I think, and, and definitely still has those aspects because that's really important to us yeah. and the stunt doubles always, but it is a, a lot He's just scarier. He's scary. He really, he really yeah. is. And I felt it when I was shooting it. So I'm, I'm curious to see how that translates and, and how it makes. Oh, me that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. Jenna, such an honor to talk to you. It's so, so awesome to have Wednesday finally. I can't wait for everybody else to see it because people are like, oh my God, you've seen it already. I was like, oh my, I had like three nights to watch it and I literally binged it. Kept my daughter up late night on school night. That's how you know a series is good. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Gwendolyn, I am so excited to meet you. I am a huge, huge fan of your work. 
I want to start off by saying congratulations on this amazing show that I can watch with my 11-year-old. You know you have a hit when a 40-year-old woman can watch a show with her 11-year-old child and both are equally entertained. <laughs> oh, good. I'm so pleased. I really am. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, we absolutely love your character, Weems. Like, there's this sort of, you know, your character has this, like, you're championing for the students. You've got this good heart. And then there's, like, this mystery with your character. So how, how did you go about sort of balancing that line for your character? It's, um, I really love, thank you so much for all your really lovely words. I honestly oh, really do appreciate it. And I'm glad you love the show. I love, I really love this show too. And I, I truly love the character of Larissa Weems. I didn't think I'd ever get to play a part quite like this. And um, I've wanted to work with Tim Burton my entire life. But what Tim does so well is yes. that he he takes characters and they can be larger than life and they can be extreme and different, yeah. but he always recognizes the humanity in them. And um, mm -hmm. for me, I, I talk to a headmistress, I talk to um, other women in positions of power and ask them how they went about it. And I went from a very kind of grassroots um, straightforward approach initially but then you know Larissa Weems is is a true outcast and she is the yeah. principal of a school for outcasts and there means that, that means that there's always something slightly amiss there there's something slightly different mm. something that where there's uh, something being covered up and that was what was interesting to me. The knowledge of how to go about that position of power with its diplomacy and, uh, and, and strategy, yes. but also when the real self arrives with all of its mm. fury and darkness and complicated, unresolved emotion, um, the wrestle between those two things. And that's what I love doing, but that's also what it is to yeah. be human. Absolutely. And you know, I just, I love how absolutely stunning you are at 6'3". And I feel like I love that these shows that you get to work on just celebrate this powerful stance and this demeanor that you bring to every single character. So what's it like to work on these projects and work with people who celebrate that sort of just demeanor that you bring to every character. I've, I feel hugely lucky with the people I've worked with and I've wanted to work with, I've had a huge desire to work with every person. I've been lucky enough to end up in that situation. I've wanted to work with Tim my entire life. What I yeah. really think is essential is that um, for too long, mainstream culture has been dominated by just one view of how people mm -hmm. should be, and that is an easily digestible one. And I think it is great that it feels like we're starting to see greater inclusivity and greater diversity, and yeah. most importantly, new forms of stories, new stories told by mm -hmm. new and different people, and it's giving us a whole other developing and, and evolving world of entertainment. Um, I love to work with people that see me as an actor, I love to work with people mm. that can see what I can bring to something in terms of the years of studying I did as an actor, my years very luckily of working, and the views and opinions that I have in terms of uh, image making and, and creating a character and bringing that yeah. to life. So I'm never interested in being objectified. I'm never interested in being um, somewhat dehumanized and seen purely mm -hmm. as um, a physical entity that has... Uh, certainly one very strong point. I love it when I feel connected to someone, that they can see mm -hmm. something inside of me that maybe no one else can. And Tim yeah. was one of those people. He, I felt very much seen by him, uh, certainly as an actor. And I think it's extraordinary that what we see in Wednesday is um, a very beautiful woman. And I've certainly never been yes. portrayed in that way before. And that was mm. liberating and exciting and interesting 
And just in terms as, as of an actor, I like to transform. And I think that Larissa Weems is a very different character from the sorts of characters I've been yeah. known for playing. And that was a joy for me to use different muscles. I love that. I love that. And listen, Weems can rock that red lip like no <laughs> one's business. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. As I mentioned, huge fan. Congratulations on the show. I've already watched it from front to back. I can't wait for the rest of the world to see it as well. Thank, Thank you, you for your so time. much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm glad you loved it. I do. <laughs> oh, obsessed. Obsessed. Like the video? Then hit the button. Or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.